Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Animal Crossing. So what Animal Crossing is, is it's a game by Nintendo. They've had a lot of previous versions of it on the 3DS, the Nintendo DS, and uh, the actual consoles as well. So they just made a new mobile game called Pocket Camp. And this is a free to start game like most mobile games are, you don't have to pay if you don't want to. Paying money does help speed things up, or it does give you access to some limited edition items. Which, uh, in the future, you'll be able to see. So, let's get started, right? You play as a human player, and you're running a campsite with talking animals that go in and out, and they're around uh, the places that you go. The main objective of Animal Crossing is to expand, or for this one in particular, is to expand the size of your camper van. Um, here, we'll go check out our campground, right? So, you can expand the size of your camper van, or you can also upgrade your campground amenities, or what we say, the tent. And so this tent you can upgrade uh, right now. I have something upgrading behind here as well. Or inside your camper van, you can upgrade it to have bigger rooms or more rooms, stuff like that. And you can also put furniture inside as well. So let's walk back out here. Some other objectives you have is to actually level up your friendships with animals in your campground or the actual entire game, right? All these animals that are in here right now, you can talk with them, blah, 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 and you can level them up, right? So let's say, for example, I talk to Butch. Sometimes they offer you items. So right now, give me like two different items. And right here, you see the heart. That's the friendship level. Uh, when it goes up to the very top, it'll level up. Yeah, so you level those guys up. And then the final objective, I would say, is to just collect furniture or clothing. That's basically the objective of most Animal Crossing games, is just to make your house or make your campground or make your camper van the best looking it can be with um, all your furniture. So, when we talk about most mobile games that you can buy stuff on, there are usually two types of currencies, a premium currency and one that is available for everybody else. Now, the common currency is in bells. I can't really click it, it's on the top right. So bells are the free to get uh, money in this game. And you can actually get it from completing requests with the different animals or leveling up the friendship levels or leveling up your own character or just selling items. And the premium currency are leaf tickets. So what leaf tickets are for is to speed things up, right? Like when you're crafting things, you can click it and you can pay in leaf tickets to speed it up. Or if you don't have enough material, let's say we go to order screen, if you don't have enough material to build things, you can use leaf tickets. So how do we actually get leaf tickets? We can get them through completing goals. Like these right here, I've completed a lot of them already and they do offer quite a lot of leaf tickets. Or you get it from leveling up or you can also get it from login bonuses. So we'll take a look over here. I got one on day one and then uh, tomorrow I'll get 20 leaf tickets. So that's how you get leaf tickets. I would say save them if you can, just save everything. Um, I'll tell you what you can use it on afterwards. So. And the another objective of this game is the furniture collection itself and to get furniture you just have to go into this crafting menu down here and you can craft things through Cyrus so you know you can click on it uh, go to the aura screen and you can hit craft it but right now I just don't have enough space so, uh, for crafting since I already have two items crafting up here that I have to wait so that's like the main thing. You can also collect furniture by buying it through the marketplace over here. We can go over here, check it out, right? The Nukes, Nukes uh, little nephews, they sell it over here. So you can actually purchase, purchase the furniture over here. 
Um, if you open up your catalog, you can see overall what furniture you have, the different amenities that you can build, or what level they are. So we can check cool, right? Locked item. So you'll be able to see the skill line and you can also check the clothing or the special items. So right now there's only two. Um, I have both of them, KK Slider's chair and Tom Nook's chair. And then I'll talk about that in a bit as well. So yeah, um, upgrading your campground. How do I upgrade my campground? I have to use materials and essences. So to upgrade your campground, like we saw in the catalog, there are some amenities that you can upgrade, like your tent. Um, we'll just go back to the catalog and kind of take a look. At the very start of the game, you choose a certain type of theme for your park, or for your campground. And these ones are the corresponding amenities to them. So check out Sporty, because I'm building that right now. You can get a Sporty tent, into a half pipe, into that looks like a swimming pool. And to build these, also in the crafting menu, all the way over on the right, amenities you can craft. So, to craft these, you need different types of items. So you need essences. What essences are, if we go in, over to our, um, not collectible, oh yeah, craft materials. These are essences, okay? To get essences, you need to finish requests for animals, and sometimes your goals, you can also find them as well. Over here, when you complete goals, you can also find essences. Uh, at first, I think you only carry 20, but a sm um, with the more levels you go up, you can actually carry more and more. Um, also changes for the materials as well. So leveling up lets you carry more. Now, essences, there's only four types, natural, cute, cool, and sporty, which corresponds with the themes, the number of themes inside the game. So those are the four themes in the game. There are seven types of materials so far. The main ones are cotton, steel, and wood. So to get these three, you need to finish, you can get these really easily by finishing requests for animals. Um, paper itself, paper and preserves, they also come, but not as often because I think they come at certain levels or maybe, yeah, just certain levels kind of thing. Um, and then friend powder, friend powder and sparkle stones. These are the more rare ones. Uh, friend powder comes from, only comes from, uh, so far, only comes from doing time goals every day. You get about eight. And then sparkle stones are even harder to get. These ones come for sure at level seven. When you upgrade, or when you level up your animals, for sure at level 7, they will give you something. So we'll check that. Um, or level level 9 reward, they'll give you one. But at level 7, uh, the level up reward will be a sparkle stone. And also at level 9, you'll be able to get sparkle stones from these guys. So, we're kind of through with the furniture for now. Uh, leveling up your... Monster, or not monsters, <laughs> leveling up your animals, okay? You can do these by finishing requests for them. So let's talk with one, maybe, do these guys have any requests? No? Okay, yeah, we'll go find someone who does. Let's head over to here and talk with Chrissy. So, to level up these friendships, you either chat with them, or, here, we'll just walk right past these animals. Okay, we'll chat with her, and she wants, here, take this. So she wants a pear and two cherries, right? So we're gonna give her whatever she wants. Request complete. And then we get a reward, so 200 bells, and then we get some material as well. And then right after that, you can see that it levels up. So she's almost leveled up right now, let's just go and level her up with, um... We'll chat with her. So right there. We'll level her up. Now she is level 6. We get some essence. We get some materia. We get some bells. And then we add a heart to our level up system. So if I level up 4 more friendship levels, then I myself will level up. And then you can see what we get when we level up, right? Uh, we can also... We'll just throw this in. Finish it off. Take this. 
So most of the time they'll ask for either shells, uh, sea fish, river fish, fruits, or bugs. So we'll go through this first. So how do you know where to find things? It's pretty easy. You just jump into the map first, hit any of these places, and then there, right, right beside the name of the place you can go found here, and it shows you all the things that you can catch here. Some of these are more rare than the others, like for example, trying to find koi or black bass or rainbow trout, uh, their chances of actually showing up are a bit lower. Uh, if we go over here, found here all of these. Um, the Horn Dynasty, Emperor Butterfly, and Miyama Stag. Those are also the Jewel Beetle. They're a bit harder to find. Uh, these are just fruits, so you can just find five fruits here. Over here, Saltwater Shores. Um, Let's see, the ones that are really hard to get are tuna, blowfish, red snapper, and football fish. I've only been able to catch the blowfish and the red snapper for the rare ones, um, not tuna and football fish. But just kind of keep hanging around and keep trying, right? So yeah, you can just find out what's available in each and then the animals will tell you what they actually want. We'll give this to her as well. Let's say you finish all the requests, right, for an animal. And you want to do it again. You do get some of these items when you... I think at a certain level as well as some of the login bonuses. So we, once you finish the three requests, you can talk to them, hit what do you want. And you can use a request ticket and you can uh, complete more requests. If you're looking for a specific animal, one of the specific animals that you want to level up and they're not here yet, you can just open up your contacts. Click on the animal that you want, hit call. Oh, they're already in a different location. If you go like this and you hit call, you can use a calling card, which brings the person here, or it brings the animal here, and you can work on leveling them up. So those are the two main uses for that item. All right, another thing, upgrading your camper. So to upgrade your camper, you go to OK Motors, uh, you can change the color of the outside, get a custom design, or just expand the inside, you talk with them. So how's it going, blah, 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 blah. I can go expand my interior, except right now I still have a loan. So every time you upgrade your camper, you have to pay off your loan. So you open up your uh, extra menu, go to loan, and you can choose how much you want to pay off, right? You don't have to pay it off right away, uh, just over time while you collect your bells, right? So that's kind of uh, how the camper thing works. All right, so some extra tips I have is, let's go back to our campsite. I am currently leveling up or making an amenity for the sporty theme. So the best thing to do is try to have as many sporty themed animals inside your camp as possible. So you can check who's at my campsite. This guy is sporty, this guy is not, this guy is cool, this guy is sporty. And why I tell you to do this is because once this sporty themed, I can't get there. Once this sporty themed right here, this sporty themed slide, once it is finished, all sporty themed animals here will gain plus five to the friendship level. So you want them in your campsite living in your campsite when you do that. You can send animals in and out by going like this and you can send them home and then they'll bring extra space so you can bring someone else who is sporty themed or if you're making a cute theme then you kick everybody out, out who isn't cute and throw in the cute themed animals. And that way you can just level up faster. And then whenever you level up animals they give you stuff like give you certain items uh, once you get them to level 20, you get a picture of them. Oh, so you can actually check what exactly you do get off uh, leveling them up. But yeah, so every time you level someone up to level 20, oops, level up to level 20, then you get a painting of them. Alright, so you just do that by fulfilling all the requests you can. Alright, another thing, there's something called a market box. A market box is a place where you can actually list your items for sale. Um, you can sell it for more than you would be able to when you're selling it through the... Like, this is only sells for 10, this sells for 10, 
this sells for four thousand. But if you list it for sale, you can list it for a lot more. But the four thousand is that is what you can sell it for right away. But it's really dependent on your friends buying them. So you can add friends through the friends menu over here. Oh, I got a new friend request, so we'll just add this person. Friend request received, Jack. Alright, we'll add him. Okay, so I'll just share my ID for a sec. You can look at this, add me if you want. Uh, but yeah, so what's good about adding friends is that you can go over to the campsite. You send something called kudos to them. And then you receive kudos back if they go over to your campsite and send it to you. And whenever that happens, I think you get like 100 bells or so. They're also useful to access this map called the Shovel Strike Quarry. So actually, I can head there now. And I'll show you what happens here. You go over here and you dig up five stones. Inside the five stones, there'll be a certain number of gemstones or gold or silver. And then you'll find a prize for them. Hang on. So let's break up five first, eh? Let's find some minerals. Let's open up this one. Silver nugget. Sapphire. Silver nugget. Let's walk over to this side. Right, gold nugget, and right here, a ruby. So now that we're finished, we're going to be able to get some rewards. So we get 4,100 bells for a reward. And you can do this once per day, but you need five friends to send you through. The thing is, if you don't have enough friends, you have to pay 20 leaf tickets. And like I said, do not pay the 20 leaf tickets you want to save them because it's a premium currency if you're not going to spend on the game don't use it on things that you don't need right so that's that so now that we're in the marketplace um over here you can actually buy clothes or from this guy you can buy shoes you can also sell your furniture and clothing so you can sell your furniture and clothing here for bells but i would just say i don't know keep it it's not much um, unless you really, really need the bells to upgrade, which I would say you don't. Alright, so let's give you guys some tips for the game just starting out. Go over, you have, make sure you sign up to My Nintendo. Go over to My Nintendo. Uh, I am. If you're not, sign up for it. Make sure your region is set to Australia if you're using the APK that I am on right now because it's only released for Australia. But, um... Once it's released worldwide, there won't be that problem. Anyways, once you sign up for my Nintendo, there will be missions that you can complete. Some of them are weekly, some of them are just permanent. If you link it to Facebook and link it to Twitter, you get plus 600 of these points. And then the other quests. So, just go down here first, this costs zero. Get your 50 free leaf tickets. That's really nice for you to um, save up and everything. And then, if you're a collector, collect the cap, collect a jacket. And then over here, I'm just saving this right now in case I really do need it. You can use it to get bells or you can use it to get craft materials. I would say craft materials, save it for that because in case, I don't know, you want to make some certain type of furniture and you don't have the material, you can just come here and grab some. So that's kind of like what my Nintendo is, uh, really useful for that. Okay, and now what should I use my leaf tickets on? Right, what should I use it on? Uh, I will tell you to, if you are a furniture collector, collect the limited edi uh, edition items. So the Tom Nook and the KK Slider chairs, collect them first. They cost 250 leaf tickets each. So I'm at level 24. I have two of both of these. So I use 500 tickets plus crafting slots. So you only usually only have one crafting slot. I have two because I bought an extra one. It costs 80 leaf tickets to do it so at level 24 or even at 23 or 22 depending on what quest you complete or which goals you complete you'll be able to complete this both of these chairs so 500 tickets plus 80 tickets on top of that so at level actually like right on level 24 that's when i actually picked up my second crafting slot i would recommend picking up your first or your extra crafting slot first because it does speed up everything a lot if you're only limited to one crafting item, you can't invite as many people over to 
um, to your campground, right? And you can't really just, yeah, you just can't go as fast. So I would say get the crafting slot first, then aim for the chairs. I don't think they're going anytime soon. There's still 41 days left, right? So 41 days, you'll definitely be able to hit level 24. Because I did it in, I think, like three days. Three, four days. Alright, yeah, so just um, one crafting slot, buy the chairs. Otherwise, just max out your crafting slots if you don't want to collect the items. But the thing is, you're playing Animal Crossing. I'm pretty sure you want to collect it anyways. And these are limited edition items after 41 days. They may or may not be brought out again. Um, otherwise, I would say leave tickets. I'm not sure. Uh, other than leveling up and doing the goals. once, Because I'm already almost done the goals. I have four more left, right? Once I'm done these, I'll just have another 30 leave tickets. And then the login bonus, I'll save those tickets. But other than that, I'm not exactly sure how we will be able to get more. Unless they do events or something that incorporates winning prizes or um it's like a bug catching contest type of the type of thing like in the uh ds versions right so it's a bit more difficult um and then final tip there are two stretch goals which require you to spend leaf tickets so let's go down here see if i can find it Oh yeah, paying leaf tickets to complete a crafting project quickly and paying leaf tickets to craft an item with insufficient materials. So, my recommendation for this is to, when you are crafting, when doing the one which um, speeds up the time, choose something that is really, really fast. So let's go into order screen. This is three minutes. So anything with three minutes when you craft it, uh, it'll just be one leaf ticket to speed it up. So just do it on three minute item. Um, the next one is a bit harder to cover materials, so let's say I am missing 14 papers. It'll cost me 7, right? Um, so roughly half of what I need. But, try to work it so you're only missing 1 to 2 materials left. Uh, let's check here. These are all missing quite a bit. So if you're only missing 1 to 2 materials, then you only have to pay the 1 leaf ticket. So, both of those quests, spend one leaf ticket, get 10 back, that's kind of optim optimal. That's what you want to do, so you don't waste the leaf tickets. Um, otherwise, let's look at the pricing. 250 leaf tickets will be about, we'll just say half of this, right? So that's kind of like 18 bucks. I mean, a bit less than it. At 250? Oh, no, no, 250 is just a... It's like, it's about... 13 14 bucks kind of thing right so 13 to 50 or 13 to 15 dollars worth of leaf tickets is what this uh tom nook or kiki slider and top tom nook chairs cost right so you really want to save up the leaf tickets because if you're not spending then yeah that's it but yeah i think that covers most of it let's take a look um map covered marketplace blah 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 your items uh there's different themes for them right different themes of uh, items certain animals like certain themes so just build it according to that um, to oh yeah to bring animals to your place you have to fulfill requests for them so let's say for punchy right you got to craft all these to actually bring them over get friendship level with the five or higher to visit our campsite but yeah that's about it. That's Animal Crossing. So I hope you enjoy it. I really like this game. Um, hopefully it doesn't become too focus on spending only. Unless you want the limited edition items. Which might get there for us. But we'll see. Anyways, get on right now. There are login bonuses. You'll be able to get the special skin for your camper van at some point. And also a bunch of other prizes. Yeah, anyways guys, this is Pooh Biscuits. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.